Hey gang, what I'm going to show you today is how I convert my Maisto 118th scale 550 Porsche Spider into a replica James Dean little bastard with just a little paint and some decals. I make these decals myself and I sell them for $15 a set. A set includes all the decals you need to create one car. A full sheet of decals costs $90 and has enough decals to make six cars. All decal sets come with an extra little bastard decal and an extra Nurburgring badge. I do not sell the Porsche badge and shield replica decals. They come free when you purchase a set. <coughs> These water slide transfer decals are high resolution 400 dpi prints and are the best replica little bastard decals you can find anywhere. They come with two coats of clear gloss paint already sprayed on to seal the ink. They are also the original decals authorized by James Dean's last drive. One of the problems with the Maisto car is it has these two vent scoops on the back that Dean's car did not have. I'm going to leave these on this car, but my next car I'm going to cut them out or flatten them. That means I will have to sand and repaint the entire car. The first thing you want to do after you open the box is take the car apart. You don't need to take the front end apart, but you should at least take out the seats and take the rubber tires off the rims. Don't forget to take off the front left turn signal to match Jimmy's car as seen in the famous photo at the gas station. The hardest part of doing this conversion is getting the car masked off for paint, especially for me because I build real cars for a living, but I don't do any paint and body work. The same goes for model cars. For the interior, I used a flat red model paint with an airbrush. A cheap Harbor Freight airbrush will work fine and will have better results than using a brush with bristles. If you thin the model paint, you can have more control over how much paint goes on and what the final result will be. The flat red looks more like the original fabric and can be sprayed a little at a time to give the seats a worn look or a new look. The inner door panels are tough to get to. But on the plus side, you can clean them up later with an X-Acto knife or a Q-tip and some paint thinner. As I said, I am not a painter. By the way, be careful not to break the steering wheel like I did. Luckily, one of my friends had an extra one for me to use. Another problem on the Maisto is the rear Spider license plate. Obviously, this needs to come off, but it leaves a couple square holes in the body. I have used Ultra Gray Silicone from the auto parts store to fill these holes before, but on this car I mixed up some JB Weld. You can mix the two parts together to get a matching gray color to fill the holes and then wipe, scrape, or sand off the excess spooge. While the interior paint and filler dry, you can work on the wheels. You can get more or less detailed building a model, but since the rims can be touched up fairly easy to look more real, I do those also. The secret to filling in the rims to look more real is to thin your paint about 50-50. I also use cheap brushes and just cut the bristles to make a smaller point for tiny areas. You can check out lots of other videos online to get more hints and tricks, but since I don't do this all the time, I am just covering the basics. You only need to dab your brush in the thin paint and touch it to the wheel. The paint will flow into the grooves. Keep a Q-tip and paint thinner close in case you need to clean up some excess. Once your interior is dry, preferably overnight at least, then you need to reverse the masking procedure on your car. If you want to keep your interior flat and looking like cloth, then you need to mask it all off as well as the wheels. I use Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. This exact paint covers very well and lays nice and flat when it dries leaving a smoother finish without orange peel. One coat of gloss over the car is enough. The reason I do this is so when I apply the decals, the clear area under the decals will match the rest of the car when I spray my final clear coat on over everything when I'm done. If you don't spray a layer of gloss on before you apply the decals, then the clear area of the decals will be a different color or shade after you spray on the top coat. Again, you want to let the car sit overnight to dry. It is now time to apply the water slide transfer decals. When you cut out the decals, leave about an eighth of an inch of space around the printed area. Room temperature water works great. These decals only need to be in the water for 30 seconds to one minute 
before they are ready to slide off and onto the car. It's a good idea to only do one at a time. The Nurburgring badge only goes on one side, so you can practice with this decal first or the Little Bastard decal since there is an extra decal of each. This will help you get an idea of how long to soak the decals and how it is to work with them. Dip your finger in the water and wet the area where you want to apply the decal. Take the decal out of the water after sitting for about 45 seconds, give or take, and lay it on the space where you want to apply it. Slide the backing paper out from behind the decal. You can now move the decal around to where you want it. Once in position, you can dab the decal with a paper towel to help dry the area and squeegee out any bubbles or wrinkles. Make sure to hold down one side of the decal while you wipe the decal the opposite direction to keep it from getting out of position. The license plate decal needs to be stiff, so I just cut it out and glue it onto the engine cover without using water or taking it off the backing paper. Once all the decals are in place, the next step is to set the decals with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Using a hair dryer on high or a heat gun on low, run the dryer back and forth quickly over the decal areas about 6 to 10 inches away for about 30 seconds. This will help turn the dot matrix printed decals into a smoother and brighter looking sticker with a more painted on look. When you notice the colors get brighter and smoother, stop heating the decals. It takes less than a minute. Let the car cool and dry for at least an hour. You can now spray a coat of clear gloss over the car to seal the decals and keep them from fading or coming off. It will also smooth out the edges of the decals and give the car a shiny look. Let the car sit overnight again and put the car back together, replacing the seats, tires, and whatever parts you took off. On my car, I painted road lines on the display stand and printed out photos of the intersection where James Dean crashed and put them in the box. You can use any background you want, of course. And remember, you can also use these decals on glasses, phones, laptops, or any place you want to remember James Dean and his infamous little bastard Porsche 550 Spider. Thanks for watching.